in the good feeling out the hood Feeling getting money like a real one should I'ma take a sip, get a little lit back in a bit Meditate, I think I should No, we ain't friends, got me on 10 Are you serious? Kevin Chivaldeoff, are you serious right now? I don't even know what to say. First off, I want to say Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there in Canada right now. Celebrate Thanksgiving. And shout out to all the Americans if you're watching because your holiday will be there soon enough. But I don't even know what to say to this. Like, I am in genuine shock. I saw this, woke up late. Typical fashion, you know, have the stat off, enjoying my long weekend, and not expecting any real news to break today. I was going to do a roster video at some point, just nonchalantly, nice and casual day relaxing, right? Nope, not the case. I wake up 35 minutes ago, the Winnipeg Jets have extended Mark Shifley. Oh, holy shit. Wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Let me wipe the, eye dust, the, the morning dust out of my eyes. And what's, what, what's that? Connor Hellebuck identical seven-year contract extensions with a value of 850 million dollars are you kidding me i am in shock this is this is pure insanity on every level and i don't i'm not here to bash either of these players but my god did anybody think that we were going to be seeing identical seven-year 8.5 million dollar contracts being given out to Connor Hellebuck and Mark Shifley after the offseason that we had. And also, make sure to join the Prairie Puck Discord right now if you haven't already. Link down in the description. My god, though, we need to be. I need to hear all you guys down there in the conversation talking about this because it's going to be going off more than the comments for this video. But I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm in absolute shock. Like, this is pure insanity. Like, Mark Shifley obviously coming off of a career year with 42 in goals last year, a 68 point season. His best year uh, offensively, arguably, in his career. Connor Hellebuck having a fan. Do we even need to show the stats for Connor Hellebuck? The man's, like, what? Been nominated for the Vesna three times. He's won it once. The man, like, just pure insane. One of the best goaltenders of my generation. Insane. Just the man is a god out there. Like, but look at the contract structure. Like, eight and a half million dollars. Mark Scheifele right now, ladies and gentlemen. Like, 30 years old, 38 years old, we're going to have Marcus Scheifele for. And the same goes for Connor Hellebuck. I believe Connor Hellebuck's like 29. He might be 30. Like, let's, how old is Connor Hellebuck? He's 30. He'll be 38 as well. Back-to-back, 30-year-old -back, players getting eight-year contract. Like, again, I love this for the short term because I think that... I believe in the Jets. I always will. They're my team. I love them. I'm always going to support them even when nobody else thinks that they have a chance because that's just how my fandom works. Even if I am down in the dumps about them and have no expectations, I still want them to win. And I'm still happy that we have guys like this on this club. Like, don't get me wrong. Mark Scheifele and Connor Hellebuck are good players. Mark Scheifele, yeah, I've had my beefs with him, but the man put up 42 goals last year. I'm not going to knock a hockey player that does that. But at the end of the day, 30-year-old players getting eight-year contracts that are identical, identical averages. Does this not scream what happened with the Minnesota Wild with Zach Parise and Ryan Sutter years ago? Now, I know the cap structure is different from back then, but how did that play out? Look at how Minnesota has been having to handle things since those buyouts. We just bought out Blake Wheeler, who was on an $8.5 million contract, who didn't even make it all the way through and is arguably the greatest player in franchise history. So how are we supposed to get longevity out of these guys? I, I'm just, I'm just, I just don't like that. Five-year deals, I would have been fucking ecstatic because I'm like, that's a five-year window with the prospects coming up. I think that can work. But eight-year windows, seven-year windows, whatever they are, that's too much. Se seven years, excuse me. I'm saying eight because it just, it's, it's just whoa but like seven years seven years is a long time they will be 37 like i'm just I, I don't even i can't wrap my head around it like yes i love that connor hellebuck and mark Schleifel are gonna be jets for the next few years but what the hell happens after that Think about the money you're giving out to have guys who are gonna be 36 37 like we don't you don't know in hockey like, so, some of the GOATs don't even play that well when they get up there in that age. And you're going to give Mark Shifley and Connor... Like, Connor Hellebuck, I really don't have a problem with. I'm gonna, I, I, like, I, every time I say Mark Shifley and Connor Hellebuck and I get a little worried about it, I got to say right now, my faith is in more in Connor Hellebuck. And I know how goalie contracts work. Don't I come at me. But at least Connor Hellebuck, I can understand that. Because he's a generational talent. So giving him that money up front, giving him the term, it's usually what you do with generational players. But Mark Shifley... 
You didn't even give this man the captain. You skipped him and gave it to Lowry. Everyone thought he would be gone. And now you gave him a seven-year contract extension. Like, again, I know he's a good hockey player, but what the hell is going on? Like, I don't know. I really liked going into the season with both of these guys in trade pieces. I thought they would do what they did with Andrew Ladd and Dustin Bufflin way back when in like 2016. Uh, when they went into the trade of the season, both of them needed new contracts. And it came down to the trade deadline day, which one of these guys wanted to sign. They gave Bufflin that contract. It was for that best decision. And then they moved Andrew Ladd on their way. I thought we'd see the exact same type of thing happen with Connor Hellebuck and Mark Shifley. Both of these guys would use their seasons as leverage to try to get contracts. One of them would get this type of contract. And the other one would move away at the deadline for extreme assets and then try to, you know, recoup it, re re rebuild, and retool with that, like, in mind. I just, I don't think Mark Shifley wins us the Stanley Cup, guys. None of us thought that last year. None of us thought that the year before, even with Dubois back there, and hopefully trying to get him to stay. So, why the fuck are we supposed to think with seven more years of, Con of Mark Shifley making $8.5 million that that's somehow gonna bring success with eight? I just don't know. Like, I'm, I don't know. I, 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 I want to like this because there's a, these are two players that I've grown up watching that we've drafted that are goats of this team. I'm not going to deny Mark Shifley probably would have had his number go up there in the Hall of Fame after he retired with what he's done being the first draft pick and everything. I get that. Same with Hellebuck being a draft pick, like a six-round draft pick or whatever, and having the career he's had. But my God, both of these guys saying they want to win cups and then they give seven-year contracts. Like, like, I just don't know. I don't know. Like, I, yes, I think for the next couple of years with the prospects coming up, I will say that four, three, three to four, three to five years, I'll be generous, three to five years of this contract, I don't think will be bad. But my God, the last two, we knew how bad the last two years of Blake Wheeler were with that contract. And it only got worse after it was signed. I know Mark Schleifley just put up a career year, but so did Blake Wheeler back then at that age, putting up back-to-back 91-point -back seasons. It's like they didn't learn their goddamn lesson. They just bought that man out. And not to mention all the rumors with Mark Shifley, the locker room, like they better have 110% faith that all of that's done. He'll buy into defense because, again, Connor Hellebuck, I don't expect any bullshit from Connor Hellebuck. I know what he's going to bring every night. It's been impossible to tank with this guy. He's stolen us wins and willed us to the playoffs multiple seasons in a row just off of his back of his performances. But Mark Shifley, like again, I don't want to just make this a shit on Mark Shifley video because I like the guy, but... Seven fucking years at $8.5 million? Excuse me for being not optimistic about that deal for him. I just don't get it. Why did you give this out now? You have all off-season to give these guys identical contracts. All the bullshit we've heard them say through camp about wanting to win. All the trade drama, everything. And then just for this? 8.5 for seven years? I'm just, again, I don't know how to feel. I love it because I love Connor Hellebuck and I didn't want him to go. And I like Mark Shifley, I do. Like, at the end of the day, I know I've got my problems with him, but Mark Shifley is still Mark Shifley. I've grown up watching this man play for, what, fucking 12 years in this Jets team now? He's literally been there since day one. He's the only one left. But now, all of a sudden, it's just, he's a lifer. And I always thought he would be a lifer, but not on a contract like that. And not in the, with the state of this current team. Like, I just don't know. I'm in shock. I, that's the only way to explain it. I'm just in pure shock right now. I've got a coffee over there that's steeping that I need to get into my systems and have some breakfast and just get this brain going because I just don't understand this. But my God, Kevin Shoveldayoff must have had an ounce of Peruvian blow to show up at his house last night, do all of it, and just be like, fuck it, let's get these contracts signed. 8.5 going around to everybody because I don't understand this. I, I really don't. It blows my mind. This is just no, this is the most un-Jets thing that I think I've ever seen this franchise do. And it's this, and at the same time being the most Jets thing that they could do at the, at the same... It's just, none of it makes sense. None of it makes sense. But I, I, I'm just in shock. Never thought saw this coming in a million years for both of these players. I gotta see how the rest of the league feels because I don't know how I feel right now. In shock is the only way to explain it. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below as always. Buckle up and make sure those seat belts are tightly fastened because this season is going to be a bumpy ride if this is how we're going to be starting it before even puck drop for game one. So sit back, strap in, and get ready because it's going to be a tough one, I think. But I don't know. I don't know. I, love, I, I need all of you guys right now to go down there explain your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you're a fan of the Jets, if you're a fan of Mark Shifley, Connor Hellebuck, if you're a diehard who loves this, if you're a diehard who hates this, I want all perspectives down there because I am... I'm lost right now. 
So make sure to subscribe, turn notifications if you haven't already, drop a like, share this video on Twitter, share it on Reddit, share it everywhere where there are Jets fans because I want the people on this one to talk. I don't give a crap. I just need to hear you guys' opinions. So let me know down in the comment section below how you're feeling. Peace, love, and positivity as always. Go Jets, go! What is happening? Oh, 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 o